world's climate, but it is a fact that the sea levels are on the rise and the weather is changing. East Anglia is very low-lying, with much of the land below sea level, so it's especially at risk and we need to maintain flood defences properly. The Water Management Alliance is made up of five internal drainage boards that help take care of drainage systems, waterways and broadland areas right across the region. And I think it's time to take a closer look, so Luke, take a stand please. The South Holland area is west of Kings Lynn. Sometimes known as the breadbasket of Britain, it produces 40% of the country's fresh crops. This is land that supports vital agriculture and has been reclaimed from the sea over hundreds of years. Without constant drainage, entire crops, towns and businesses could disappear underwater. Now the drainage ditch you can see behind me is part of a massive network to help drain water away, but it has to be regularly maintained. Let's meet one member of the team that helps with this. This is the Spider, and it's one of three such machines in the country. It helps keep waterways clear from unwanted vegetation growth so as not to block the channel. This incredible machine actually sits in the ditch so as not to damage the surrounding areas, and the driver has a clear view of sensitive habitats such as birds' nests. Although the Spider maintains under just half of the board's watercourses, more traditional methods can also be employed. By weed cutting and general maintenance, the dikes not only serve to drain the land and protect vital public infrastructure, but they also help to support many wild creatures and their homes. And of course defending this agricultural land is vital. The southeast from here is the historic town of Kings Lynn, and it's here that the Kings Lynn Internal Drainage Board takes care in a different way. Kings Lynn straddles the River Great Ouse, where the water flows into the wash. It's home to over 35,000 people and plays an important economic role within the area. Here at the Pier Point pumping station, you can see how the main Hardwick industrial area is being protected. These four massive electric pumps have a combined capacity of over 45,000 gallons a minute. That would fill your car petrol tank up 68 times every second. Now this station protects property worth over £1 billion and cost £186,000 back in 1975. What a fantastic investment. And of course it's not just agriculture and industry that benefit from the work of the Kings Lynn Board. This is the recently revitalised Walks and running through it is the Gaywood River which acts as an important flood control system and on a better day it's a great place to walk and relax. And talking of rivers... The Norfolk River's internal drainage board drains and protects areas around seven major rivers in Norfolk including the Wensum and the Nar which host many important Chalk River habitats. In this area, careful consideration must be given to agriculture, property and the environment whilst keeping the watercourses clear. The board has an agreed standard maintenance operation to achieve this balance. The board uses a variety of tracked and wheel-mounted machines. They have special weed cutting baskets attached to clear the watercourse. As always, careful consideration must be given to wildlife and nesting birds whilst these operations take place. So why do we need to manage these drainage areas? Why not leave it to nature? Well, the board will try to maintain or recreate self-sustaining systems using natural processes. If it's not done properly, however, the devastation caused by the 2007 floods may become all too common. As we move further east, we enter the Broadland area covered by the Broad's internal drainage board. This is a haven for tourism and nature, where a delicate balance of salt and fresh water needs monitoring and maintaining. 
This is an inlet sluice and monitoring station on the River Bure near Akel. This automated system monitors salt levels in the river and if conditions are right, a sluice gate will open to allow fresh water into the nearby Halvergate marshes. These marshes are an internationally important site and one of the largest expanse of traditionally managed grazing marshes in Broadland. This system of drainage ditches are of outstanding importance for nature conservation. Effective water management within the area is important to all landowners, farmers and conservation bodies. Levels of salt water coming in from the sea and fresh water flowing out can dramatically vary depending on weather and tidal conditions. This can have a major impact on surrounding wildlife. And here at Hickling, important work has just been finished digging this drain, which has helped save a nature reserve, as well as providing improved drainage for agriculture and protecting Hickling village itself. So whether you're a visitor to the Broads in Suffolk, living in East Anglia or farming in the Fens, the Water Management Alliance is likely to be helping you and the environment for now and years to come.